up guys, Rookie Truth here about to All speak right, at so the Gulf Coast Real Estate Expo. This thing has really turned out really nice. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, a lot of vendors, the venue's nice, so it's gonna be really good. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, this is Ricky Carruth and you're watching this episode of The Daily Grind. Hey, one cool thing might be too, mm -hmm. is uh, like find an exciting point in the rant and make that the first five seconds before you do the... The... Anytime in the next 30 days, but I gotta get it done, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get my plumber on. He's right now getting two tile showers set up for my tile guy to run. Um, in the next couple of days, uh, probably easily before this weekend, I could probably get that done. I just gotta touch base with him. Yeah. You can just scratch that out. I know they don't allow lock boxes there. We'll put a lock box behind our office. Just like we do every time we get a listing there, and the agents will have to uh -huh. come, come here to get up. Okay. All right. I'm going to sign them and, and put them in the overnight. You'll have it tomorrow. Okay, man. Sounds good. Uh, I'll be looking for it. Let me know if something else comes up. Okay. Well, yes, sir. Too. Thanks, Joe. Uh, thanks, See me. Bye bye. Day, another day, another day. Uh, let's see. You ready uh, to do this thing? What's that? You ready to do this? Uh, yeah. What's, yeah, your, what's your email address? I appreciate you doing this. Give me your email. It's e uh, Brian. Mm -hmm. Dot com. Uh, group. Uh, uh, then real estate, then dot com. So now, uh, what I, so now what I got to do is give you a coupon code to go to the website where you can just basically log in basically for free. What you're going to do. Is, is you're going to use the coupon code just check out you'll probably have to put your card number in again or something but it, it won't charge you it went down didn't it i don't know i saw it go down i saw that it was going down but did it go way down healthy living right here peanut butter cookie <laughs> that's how you do 100 deals peanut butter cookies See what they did is, is they uh, they did run a uh, they did do a deal where you couldn't rent uh, houses short term. You know any residential houses in Orange Beach? You can't. You know it's thirty day minimum. No, I don't think they're going to do that to the condos. I mean, I think they're going to leave that you know three day minimums on those. It would hurt a lot of stuff. It would hurt rentals. I mean, it would just hurt a bunch of. Stuff. They're not going to do that. Yeah, no, I hadn't heard that one yet. I think that's a rumor. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you, man. I go, well, but I really like the fact it's like, hey, you, you make this simple. You find a neighborhood, you call them, you tell them about a listing or a sold in there, and just say, can I help you? And I like it, mm -hmm. period. And I'll, I'll yeah. let, um, he says you're a big... Proponent of his and a big uh, no question. He yeah. mentored you, and, and that's where you are, where you're at today. Yeah, he was a huge help, and uh, you know, I'd say, you know, in the consistency that he he goes about it. I mean, no matter who you're talking to, he's doing it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, but there's no question focusing energies on sellers um, and trying to create relationships. You know, with them, it's definitely and owners. Also, you mean owners, yeah, potential sellers. So, so potential you, buyers or sellers. So when you first talked to him and he said, this is what you have to do, and you're like, okay, I'm prepared to, to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, that meant make calls. Were you, so you, you just hit it head on, or were you nervous, or did, you, did it oh, Hell yeah, I was nervous. When I started last year, and I was lucky to have the office next door to him, and another guy named Scott Myrick, you know, where I was able to just kind of watch what they're doing a lot and, and ask a lot of questions. But, um, I mean, he used to come in here when I was making calls, and. And I made absolutely hardly any good connections, and it was just terrible. 
Um, but you know, eventually you get to where it's just kind of like no big deal, and it's like who cares if they like you if they don't. You know, you're just trying to, you know, um, you're trying to. For me, I look at it like I'm trying to exert energy into the world. Yeah. Know? And then it kind of comes back to me, and um, I think they'll learn that from you in a way also. If you guys are both proponents of that, was it Red X, the software, or whatever? I use it. You use Mojo or Red X? I use a, a service called um, Vulcan. Um, so it's a little bit. Vulcan is Red X, huh? No, same it's, a little, company same, it's a little different, but uh, same idea. And um, but Red X is good. I think Vulcan is pretty similar, maybe the same. Because it's like when I log into Red X, it says Vulcan. Or oh really? Yeah. Okay. Maybe the same people. I think it's the same. I think it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I think when I log into Red X, it takes me to Vulcan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. Well, that's what I wanted. I think it's funny. Uh, I was sitting there and I started following you. I was like, this old boy went to Foley. Yeah. Come on now. I want to follow It's uh -huh. like, why does he get to do all that and I can't? So uh -huh. obviously I need to redo what I'm doing and, and at, 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 you know, replicate uh, what y'all are doing. Yeah. Like, what I'm doing is just not. It's not good enough. Yeah. It's not good enough. At some point, you just got to say enough's enough. Right. And just put your foot down and get to work, you know? Mm hmm Definitely that limited mindset. I mean, when I came down here to work at this office, I had limiting ideas that what type of properties I couldn't sell, you know, or that I shouldn't be calling because for whatever these reasons, I shouldn't be calling, you know? And next thing you know, I sell a pretty or I sell a house on the, on the lagoon. And it's just a matter of then you eventually kind of come out of that, well, it doesn't really matter. It's the same conversation you know, so those are the challenges i have yeah you know? and not to belabor the point but it all boils down to getting and making calls every day like you're supposed to just 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 by hook or crook you make the calls mm -hmm. and just by default of making the calls you get more and more comfortable with it it becomes second nature it becomes easy and it's not like uh, so when do you think when you started because mm -hmm. the first day or first two days or first three days was a lot of rejection uh you know a little mm -hmm. little feel of being felt like you were defeated. When did you get to a point? Was it a very quick transition for you? Like, come like this is what you got to do, or was it? Does it take some weeks of uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of calls before? Not to say you were perfect before. It was just like it's okay. For me, it was whenever I started doing enough deals to where I felt like I was confident in my skills in you know doing the deal. So I did 50, 70, 100 deals, and then when I'm talking on the phone to them, I feel like you know what I, I am good at what I do. I got you. So I can you know I can convey that with my in confidence. I see.